has life changed for you since the lifting of the U.S. sanctions? How have your businesses benefited? Yeah. Uh, you're across all sectors, including energy, real estate, retail, hotels. Give us a sense of how much has been achieved since the lifting of the sanctions. Uh, so if you told me this, I have to recall that the sanction put me in 2009. So that I have to recall that 2009 to end the lift the sanction there. I will be praying every day when we lift the sanction. So that when they lift the sanction to me, that I'm quite happy. That not only looking at my business, there's my dignity and my image, my business reputation as well. So I really appreciate that it's not only me, the whole country lift the sanction for even Myanmar country also, uh, you know, work with the all other country at the future. So how so. much have your business has grown since the lifting of the sanctions? Uh, so you can say, imagine that, you know, immediately you cannot grow all the figure, but a lot of, I mean, the future plan we have it in, I mean, the pipeline. So we have been discussed with a lot of international companies to be work together. What are the key sectors? I know you've had joint ventures, for instance, in the energy sector with Shell. Uh, how is that joint venture coming along? So it's uh, right now that you know that Myanmar has been isolated 50 years. So we need know how to run the business, uh, global people, that they have a lot of experience, global company, they know how to do it. So uh, further for the, according to the investment law, right now we, we cannot put the equity. But what we can do that they will run and they will give us their know-how management. So I think that they will run the, our business to get the more market and also the more benefit at the future. So we will work on management together. So are you looking at more joint ventures? Yeah, of course, of course. Who are you in talks with? Yeah, so we're talking a lot. Of course, the airport is running our hotel, our investment. The future may be more chain that we are work together. And also that we are looking at the financial sector and also the investment banking side, that what we are looking together. So a lot of industry need to be work with the foreign, I mean the international, I mean the corporate company like that, yeah. Uh, your businesses are pretty well established and you've uh, made a reputation for yourself uh, for running good business. It does make sense for you to list your companies, yes? Are there plans for that? Yeah, of course that I don't want to be a private owned for all my business. I want to be listed in one day. So you need, you need a, like a storage chain in Myanmar. So the, our capital market is not there yet. So right now I can list it in Myanmar. So I have a plan to be listed in the outside of the country. Where? So, so that's still looking at the Singapore, Hong Kong, or London. That, that's what we are looking for the future. Oh, when are you likely to make that decision and where to, so to list? Actually, the, uh, first of all, you have to make a, I mean, the plan you are set first. Okay, most of the mine subsidiary can be all uh, like a corporate governance and corporate finance and profitable business and also the good reputation. So, and then easy to be listed, you know, that if you don't know, prepare for that and then they're very difficult to list it. So we have been planned already everything in our side. What do you make of the reform process? Have you been satisfied at the pace? 53 million people have been looking for the, this reform this, uh, 50 years ago so that we can see the change. So that is what we expected for the Myanmar. So, okay? so that is the only the first step of moving forward. So next step is how we're we going to implement and you know, grow the economy and quality of life, the people, and then also the stable politics. So it all have to be seen at the future. But there's a lack of talent here. How are you overcoming that challenge? Are you setting up your own institution to train, uh, to fill the positions you need? I think see, it's not only the private sector, the government, private and international investor have to look at the how to be, you know, to put the capacity to the people. That we need more skill to put the people, you know, to run all the business and also that they will get the highest income at the one day. So they have a better life for them as well. So education help. I think uh, capacity for me is for the banking, you look at it. I have a full training center. This year I have a plan to be appointed 3,500 job. So entry level, they don't know anything, but we put the capacity to them the day to day. But, but where do you find the skills? I mean, are you, do, do you need more foreign talent to help build the of skills? Course, of course. Now the globalizing, you look at it, the whole world is very small. That, you know, one country have, and one nation have to another nation. One nationality have to another nationality. So you look at my group, even financial set our mass group. A lot of foreign is for with me. So. How do you view developments in the U.S. with a new president, with the Trump administration, do you expect the U.S. to engage Myanmar in a more meaningful way or is it too far for, the, for him to be interested? 
Yes, uh, that region is very good economy, you know, in, I mean, that you look at in the wall, that Myanmar is part of the, there also, that he should focus more in the Asia for doing business together with the U.S. So, and then uh, Myanmar also have a good opportunity at the future to be the business with them. But what form would you like to see the engagement take? I think it's uh, politically the good relation, economically the good relationship, bilateral agreements, you know, they should look at Myanmar and, you know, Sapo, and then now they are lifting the sanctions. Again, there's a first opportunity for Myanmar. Second one is the GSP. The GSP, we can export a lot of commodity to the U.S. And then also now a lot of U.S. companies have been looking Myanmar for the investment. So that is, uh, you can look at the very bright future at the future. I mean, if the government more interesting and support on that new government on that front, that, that will be the best for uh, Myanmar and the U.S. Uh, you said earlier that you're looking for more joint ventures. What do you say to potential investors who are hesitant, who say that Myanmar is for the brave? It's a potentially, I mean, we are looking at the foreign investor that, you know, who have an international brand and also they look at it. In Myanmar, you see that the private sector want to grow the infrastructure. We have a lack of infrastructure, let's say the energy, you know, highway, and also the technology side, financial sector. The, all those areas, the foreign investor looking and invest it, that will be the best for the, our country grow. It's not only for the one, buy, one industry they invest, but all other investors also, they can sit on this infrastructure to be, they can invest more.